Okay guys, so today I got a really awesome part to add to Frankenstein. Something I've always wanted for my trucks. I mean, I've had toolboxes, but I've never had a weather guard toolbox. Uh, these are uh, pretty much the cream of the crop guys, best of the best, and they're not cheap. Uh, this is the black one. I think this is the gloss black one. Uh, it, it is the wider one. I forget the, the width of that, but I'll get that in the videos eventually. Uh, I don't, it's not the deep one. I think it's just the standard. Well, I can get you the number here. Thing opens beautifully. Lid opens really uh, straight up and down, real nice. Uh, there's the, I guess there's the model number there. I've got to register this thing, get it, it's got a lifetime warranty on it. So, here's the finishes you could get. I guess there's clear, gloss, gloss white, and matte black. Now I think this is the gloss. Like I said, I'm not totally positive. It kind of has kind of a matty look to it, but I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up. Well anyway, you get uh, this little box inside. I'm assuming that is a tray. And then uh, mounting hardware. Also you got uh, keys with uh, the really nice latches and lock system here. Uh, here's some grooves. This is how you're going to mount it without drilling holes. I'm assuming there's, a, like I said, a mounting kit in here that allows you to mount this without like drilling holes into your bed. But yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about this. Like I said, I've had toolboxes. I've never had a weather guard. So. We're going to get her up there. Okay, so I've got this back rack that I installed in earlier videos. And as I was doing the install, I did measure across to make sure it was going to fit inside. And it's going to just fit. There's not going to be a whole lot of room inside these I call them the mounting bases but it's what you use to mount it and it looks like these are like tie down points is what I'm guessing these are but it should fit just inside these so there's really nothing else to do but get this thing up there and see how she fits okay so I opened that box and found this tray like I thought there was going to be uh, it's pretty nice. It's heavy duty. It's got these dividers that can be uh, moved around to wherever you need it. Also, it comes with this really neat box to hold little stuff. It's got its own little compartment there. And then you've got the mounting hardware. Uh, it's also got some level holders. It's got some rubber pads that go under the, the box. Uh, bolts, washers. Uh, here's the deals that grab a hold of the lip of the bed to mount it. Uh, it comes with this little vinyl tape that goes inside these brackets, I guess. And then you've got some instructions Although mounting a box is not that hard. I may add some more uh, stuff to the bottom of the box. This seems kind of thin. Or not thin, but it's not very wide. So we'll see about that. Okay, so it's in there. And I'm finding some things that I'm not really liking, some things that uh, 
are okay, I guess. Oh, one thing is, that uh, does fit. It barely fits inside here. Uh, second thing is, well, we've got a bit of a gap here from here to there that, I don't know, I might be able to use this rubber here as the spacer for that. Uh, some of my tape here that I stuck on is showing because it's, it's gray. I should have got some black stuff. I don't know why all that camper tape or topper tape isn't black. But um, another thing I don't really like is I'm going to have to space it this far out because when the lid comes up, it comes back. So I'm going to have to leave that space there to uh, uh, allow for the, the hood or cover to come up. And then what that also does is I can't put any lights on this side of the rack. So I don't know. I guess if you just had this toolbox in here, it would go all the way to here. And you have this mount or that room there for the lid to come open. Plus the, I guess the, the cab goes that way too. So the back rack, I guess, is kind of messing me up. I thought these were made for the back racks, but... Well, I got it now, so I got to make it work. I'll figure it out here. Okay, so I got her mounted in there with the mounts. Ah, uh, you can see them right there is the end one. Kind of grabs the lip of the bed. Ah, uh, the two in the middle. I use the middle mount in the toolbox and it's actually grabbing the back rack edge. And then I couldn't reach for that front mount on here. Uh, there's a mount somewhere around here and I couldn't reach it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the hardware store and I'm going to get a J-bolt and then it'll grab the back rack here. Hopefully I'll be able to uh, kind of stick it in there from the top side and then and bolt it down with the J-bolt. But But I got four mounting points in it. I just want to get that front one. That front mounting point too. So, like I said, I got a J bolt. We'll get her bolted down. So, having an impact is going to make your life a lot easier when installing the mounts. A hand wrench is just going to take you forever to run those down. These Weather Guard toolboxes come with little tie downs in the front. And I'm sure you can't tie down something real, real heavy with them. But it's always nice to have a, another tie down point uh, for something lightweight. Okay, so I got my tray installed in here. And that was kind of a tight fit getting it to squeeze into there. I'm not exactly sure what they're thinking with that, but there might be a trick to it. I don't know, but it actually got a lock up front there or on the side to lock it so it don't slide all over the place. Uh, one thing I'm not real happy with is it's going to kind of do that while we go down the road, but um, I, guess the, I guess the tools are going to do that in here anyway. And then you got to pop it up to actually get it off the lock. I'm not sure how well that's going to work from down on the ground there, but um, also Probably going to have to get some liner or something and line the bottom of this because it's really slippery. That's my, my tripod there and it's just going to slide around because it's real slick. Not sure why they didn't offer like a liner kit for that. But anyway, there it is guys. Oh, I can show you the, the install points here. There, there. Uh, this is the one I'm going to add a J-bolt to. Hopefully I'm going to be able to come from the top side, kind of snake that J-bolt in there and bolt it down.
So that's going to do it for the install guys for this toolbox. Now comes the fun part. We get to fill this thing with tools. I'll see you guys in the next one.